How you doing, Mike? I'm pretty good, Mark. How are you doing? It's if the folks are wondering why I look so cool, it's because I uh, well, I was, I was just at wondering the eye, at the eye doctor, and I have to wear these uh, shades just for a little while. All right. I thought it was because of the heat, and you were just trying to stay cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. I am kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So uh, our tenth episode, Mike, and uh, if the folks don't know it out there, uh, this is going to be our uh, last episode for season one. That's right. Um, which just means that we're going to take a break over the summer, probably mm -hmm. July and August. Mm -hmm. And we'll come back in September with season two. And uh, a lot of new creative uh, ideas, uh, new films. Yep. Uh, we're looking forward to it. We're going to up, up the game a bit. And, um, and I hope that whets your appetite to uh, to follow us and come back. But um, certainly over the summer, um, I know some people still haven't seen all well, it'll be 10 episodes. I haven't seen them all. So there's lots of viewing to do over the summer. And we will be uh, re-releasing uh, each of our, our shows each week over the summer uh, on Facebook. And, um, you know, we'll uh, direct you to YouTube, to our Just a Minute Films channel on YouTube. But, Mark, I'm really eager to uh, show you the film I've been working on this week and uh, just got it uh, done under the wire there yesterday. And um, I'm, I'm sort of excited to, for, to show it to you. Okay, I'm looking forward to seeing it. You ready for it? Oh yeah, let's let's roll it. Okay, man, hold on. Okay. Warning. Warning. You know what? It, it's a, it was remind me of a trailer. I, like, when's it going to hit the theaters so I can see the rest of it? Okay. That, that's it. Wow. That, uh, that might take me all summer to make it. Yeah. Wow, Mike, you, you, you captured so much in that, in that one minute. Like, there was suspense, drama, uh, f uh, fear, uh, all kinds of stuff. It, the science fiction. Wow. That, you really outdid yourself on that one. Well, thanks a lot, Mark. I, I, I appreciate that. It was... Um, um, yeah, you're right. I, I mean, I think I, I had different things in mind, and and when I watch it again, I, I think of some of those old, uh, those old films that we saw, and and uh, when we, you know, again when we were kids, um, some of the war films, um, some of the science fiction. It, it was, you know, really meant to be very um, anti-war. You know, the terror that war causes. Oh yeah, and, that came across. Uh, yeah, and and also just. You know, right now, of course, we're um, we're in a pandemic, and we're you know being told to shelter in place, and uh, the virus is out there, and you know, of course, the virus has has you know killed a lot of people. So that was another thing I you know sort of thinking about you know that the um, the death is kind of you know was what the virus represents, and people just being afraid, and and uh, but yeah, most mostly about the terror of of war. Okay, thanks. What about you? What about you, Mark? What have you brought? Um, the, I. The, I have a film, uh, it's, it's about an unusual creature, and I think I might have mentioned it in a previous episode. Um, it's uh, a movie called The Bomb, oh. uh, and uh, it's that little kind of strange creature. The Bombulus. Uh, Is yeah. it the, the Bombulus? The Bombulus, that's oh, it. Oh, great, yeah, yeah. That yeah it's part of, part of the uh, bee fly family. It mimics a bee uh, so that it can get into the... Uh, nests of wasps and bees to lay their their eggs there so oh. um it, it's a parasitical kind of bug but it doesn't sting or uh, it doesn't uh, bite or uh, it doesn't carry disease it's a very strange little creature yeah so i made okay. a film tribute to it wow okay i'm i'm, I'm really looking forward to this because i did find that a very interesting character and it's called da bomb well there is a little bomb in this film you just have to watch for it carefully okay okay 
Here it comes, the da bomb. <laughs> Mark, that is so cool. What I've never, you know, seen a creature. How, how did you, like, how did you follow such a tiny insect like that? And the photography, again, like as we've everybody's come to expect, is it's just stellar. Well, it keeping it, it in focus the whole time, and yeah, it's well, it's it's, it's it was hard. Uh, you know, I'm showing you just the focus pieces, but yeah, it, it was all over the place. But the one good thing about that little creature is that when he hovers, he, he, he kind of it's almost like suspended animation. He just kind of yeah. sits there in the air. And so it's great for photography there for sure. I'd just like to say too, um, before we wind up that um, if you're in the, in the Hamilton sort of Burlington area, Mark occasionally um, offers uh, lessons, workshops in, in photography, helping people uh, understand better their, their cameras and, and uh, particularly how to use the manual settings. Uh, so you learn to, to take the kind of photographs that you've seen in Mark's, uh, Mark's films. And uh, Mark, I'll, I'll, in fact, we'll, this is our last episode, so uh, we'll maybe put up your website so people can uh, see more of your photography, if that's okay. And, you know, Mike, uh, since we're, you know, talking about our different uh, uh, creativ creativity, um, you know, you're a storyteller, and, and mm -hmm. that's all part of fil make, making films, too, just seeing the story. Yeah. Um, that's actually one thing I, I kind of struggle with. Uh, you know, I, I, I have beautiful pictures, and but how to put them together to tell a story or, or a little humorous uh, antidote or, or, you know, or yeah. even just show off. Um, so I appreciate the whole storytelling aspect. And I think, uh, well, I'll, I'll uh, throw up my, my uh, website address as well. I've got a new website now and, very good. Um, and I, yeah, I, I do, um, I do work with people around, around writing and, and storytelling. just want to thank all of you for, um, yeah. for joining in because we've, we've really enjoyed your comments. And I know some of you, are like regular viewers uh, every every week and you leave some you know positive and constructive comments on our facebook pages so uh, i really i really do want to thank you we we've really enjoyed it and i'm glad that you enjoyed us enjoying ourselves and uh, if we've made you laugh a little bit or think you know about the films then then we've done more than than we could have ever hoped for so anybody you want to uh, say a special hi to or anything like that well, I just want to say a special hi to my uh, brother Lee. Uh, I know he's oh, yeah. grown up in the uh, in the whole creative uh, world. Um, hey, Lee. He had his own animation studio at one point, and mm -hmm. uh, I'd just like to encourage him to uh, to do a one minute film and uh, show it on our show here. All right. Well, thanks again, and uh, I guess we'll just leave it to say that I'm Mark Williams. I'm Mike Williams, and we're the, we're uh, the Williams, Williams brothers. brothers. Yeah. Okay, goodbye for now from Just a Minute Films. Hey, no, I, Mike, I just wanted to uh, let the folks know that uh, uh, I wanted to correct something. I think last week I mentioned that uh, entomologist was a study of butterflies, um, and it's really a study of insects, uh, which butterflies are included. But I just wanted to make that clear uh, to the audience. Hey, uh, put it there. Hey, man. Hey, that, that's great. Hey. Sorry, I think we're supposed to. Oh, oh our elbows, yeah. Yeah, okay, there. Social distancing. Yeah.